Hello. Welcome to Park Kenned Leifal Arari, Snowdonia National Park. Me and Simon are in the Moral Winds today. And what we're going to do is take a hike to the summit of Connect, which is over there, just shy of 700 metres. Then we're going to drop down that side, and over that way is a couple of lakes called Llyn, Kerrig, and Mecht. And looking at videos on YouTube, there isn't a lot about it, but the videos we have seen, there is a nice level flat area between the lakes, which we're gonna camp on tonight. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Yeah, first time I've been there, so Mark's been over this way before, cause he's done connect before, but um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. That mountain there is Moyle Hebog. Uh, the one next to it is Moyle Aragoff. You've got a Nantla Ridge, which is over there. And then, as Mark said, the pan round is Connect. I love how um, rugged this place is, and I don't think this camera is doing any justice, but if, I'm, if you're stood here where I am now, it's absolutely beautiful. You can actually get a pin drop, it's so quiet around you. Absolutely stunning place. I love how this route is signposted. Straight up there. There she is, connect. And the views up here are stunning. Off Madigan in the distance. More winds over there. I can see a bit of snow on the, the hills in the distance. Probably won't see it on the GoPro though. Yeah, spectacular. We've got to the fun part now. The last push to the summit. It's a bit of a scramble. Nothing too bad. So I'm gonna put my poles away now. Not too bad, Simon, is it? Good well. Which way do you go? Around there, until the right.
Welcome to Connect Summit. And what a view. So we're going to have a quick coffee and we're going to head down towards the, the two lakes in the distance. I don't know if you can see them. And that's where we're camping tonight. Right, we came down the top of Connect, down there, down the rocks, around this area here, across that stretch of grass. We're making our way up here now, and we know the two lakes are just over the brow. I tell you what, there's a few people walking up the mountain at the summit. A few people up there now. Two people up there now. Oh, yeah. But you come down in the valley and you don't see anyone and it's just awesome just me and simon with all this can ever over there in the snow right let's push on Look how clear that water is. Look at this place. Made up of this. Brilliant. Right, let's get around the other side. There's the first lake there we come across and down there is the second lake. And we've had a bit of a scout around and we think this is the most level area to put a tent up. So we're going to put a tent up there. We've got a bit of protection from the rocks if it gets windy. We got our view. The tent we are going to use tonight is my new tent, which is the REI Co op Flash Air 2. And we decided to use this to give it a try out because uh, we're going to be using this tent in the Via Alpina in Switzerland in June. We're both going to be sharing this tent. 
So yeah, we brought our, our MSR Access ones, which we left them in the car and decided to try this out. And yeah, so it's the first pitch, first night, we're gonna be sleeping in this together. And we're gonna see how we get on with it. So uh, stay tuned. That's the first official pitch of the REI Co-op Flash Air 2. Comes with additional um, guidelines. Four in total, but we've used two. We've had one on the back there. And one on this side, just to give maybe a little bit more stability to the tent. There's no real wind here, but if the wind changes, maybe I'll do the trick. Um, take a look inside. Two doors. The tent comes with um, additional poles, but we're using cotton poles, save on the weight. Take a look inside. Oh, it's a bit cosy, but I think it's, it's livable. There's my um, sleeping bag and sleeping pad. Marks is there. Fair bit of foot room at the end of the tent there, you can see. So yeah, I'm just I'm pleased with it. The only thing is, I, I hope it's, it's warm enough for tonight, because <coughs> it's pretty cold here, so yeah. And something else I'll point out as well. I'll just slip this footprint underneath, give it a bit of protection. That's off another tent, it's not, it's not Specifically made for this one, but it'll do the job. So there it is the RI Co op Flash Air 2. And I do like the colour of this tent, it's, uh, it's pretty stealth looking. And that's the view we got. There's a lake there, there's a lake over there. Yeah, pretty cool. So that tent, like I said earlier, is going to the Swiss Alps with us in June. Really lightweight. So yeah, we'll let you know how we get on with it through the night. Just hope it's warm enough, that's all. That's my only concern, because it's just mesh and single skin, so... And we will see. Pot noodle. Beef and tomato, a couple of protein bars. I'm gonna have a coffee. This is Paned Pen Clean. This one's called Vivo. Don't have any milk, so I'm just gonna have a brown coffee. And I'm trying out my new Wide Sea gas windshield today. Another bit of kit I'm trying out today. It's my new Katadin B3 water filter. Just got some water from the lake. I'll get that on the boil now as well. Much faster than the Soya Mini I had. This is um it's gonna be a game changer in the Alps, this is. Both got a coffee. Try and warm up a little bit. It's not um it's not freezing by any means, but it's still a bit nippy. But it's only the fourth of March, so yeah, it's gonna be a bit cold like. But I tell you what, it is so peaceful. It's 
hardly any wind and it's you could hear a pin drop. Brilliant. Just come inside the tent to see how much room we've got with all the gear. Um, I am impressed with, that, with the um, headroom of the tent. It's quite a fair gap from the top of my head to the top of the, the roof of the tent. Um, if you look at the two sleeping pads, there's not a massive amount of room between the two, but I think we can we can live with that. Um, storage. Um, obviously it's an option to leave the, the packs outside and the vestibules. The only downside is the vestibule is quite um, high off the floor on both sides obviously. So we can have a problem with rain if you rain, you know, with water getting in if it, if it rain quite heavy. Um, but I was thinking we'd probably, as we've done here, I'd leave the, the packs at the end of the sleeping pads because you can see there's a fair bit of room for those. So as long as we don't have a lot of conversation and it's going to touch the um, insides of the tent. Yeah, I think it's pretty favourable. So, first impressions, it ticks all the boxes. Simon have just walked up his little, little mound. And look at this. See if we can spot our tent. Got the Snowden Massif over there. Not many people come here, and and they should. Well, there again. No, don't come here. They'll spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just keep this. Uh, me and Simon will just come here on our own. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, it's brilliant.
nice flavour to it. The other thing is a bit dry. I think it needs some like um, like a, a, a sausage chopped up and put in there to make it a bit more interesting. But it's all right. Simon's had his food now, and I'm having a Wayfarer meatball pasta. And that is the favourite of our, uh, our mate Danny Rush. Just having a wander around camp now. And it's not that cold now. It was, um, it was colder earlier, but we've got this thick cloud cover now. And um, the tre temperature's gone up a little bit, which is good. But um, according to the forecast, we're having sleet in the morning from around seven o'clock, but hopefully we're gonna be um, halfway back to the car by then, because we're gonna get up fairly early, pack up and go. No point in hanging around. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. Good morning. It is five o'clock and we step really well. Um, one cold in this tent at all. Um, just a little update on the performance. So if I pan the camera around, as expected, we've had condensation all over the wall of the tent, which is bound to happen. It's a single skin tent and we know these tents are prone to condensation. So You know, there's two of us staying in here last night, so obviously breathing and things like that, outside conditions are going to cause it. So we're going to get a, like a microfiber towel I'm going to carry with me and on future camps I'm going to just wipe the wall down. Um, as there's been no wind last night, it's really, really calm outside, no, no wind at all. So that'll be the next test when we take it out next, if we get any high wind to see, see if it, how it performs then, so uh, so far so good. Yeah, but no, I like it. It's a lightweight three season backpacking tent and uh, it is what it is and we'll be using it for our future wild camps, especially in Switzerland. So that was the sole purpose of buying this tent. So far so good. Got the water boiled. Can have a have a cup of tea and a porridge, and then start uh, packing everything away. And then first light, we're gonna make our way back to the car. Me and Simon are all packed up as usual. No trace left. That's where our tent was. And we're going to head up there through the gap and round the back. Not that much, that much daylight at the moment, but probably just enough that we can see where we're going. This is where we come from, up there. And there's no definitive path, so, but we know that's Morwin Mower. Croissant is over that way where we started off yesterday. So we're just going to walk down to the bottom, back up, and around that way, and we're in the, go in the general direction then, as the crow flies. So we shouldn't be too far off. But it's quite hard going, it's all tussocks, a lot of rocks and boulders, going down a few holes, but nothing too bad. Just come onto this quad bug path now. So if you follow this down there, we shouldn't be far wrong. So yeah, not too bad.
So you can take your coat off. I might take mine off as well. It's all good fun. Back on the path now, which is always good. Heading back to Croissant and back to Simon's car. So if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll see all our future adventures, including hopefully an epic couple of videos in Switzerland. Have we mentioned last time we're going to Switzerland? I don't no, think we have. Thousand times. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.